So we have set up our inheritance chain properly. Now let's create another object, like a square that inherits from the shape. So that should be very easy. We create a constructor square. It takes a size. We set the size. Now we want this square to inherit from the shape. So I'm going to copy these two lines for resetting the prototype here and then change this to square and square. Of course, we need to change this one more time. Now with this, we can create a square object, new square with size 10. Let's inspect this. So we have the size property. Here's the prototype. We don't have any methods in the prototype for the square. Let's look at its parent prototype. So here we have the duplicate method that we inherited from the shape object. So we can call square.duplicate and everything works beautifully. However, these two lines for setting up the prototype chain is a little bit noisy. And as we define multiple objects, this logic gets in the way and chances are we might make a mistake along the way. So let's refactor this code and extract these two lines into a function that we can reuse. So here I'm going to define a function called extend that takes two parameters, child and parent. And note that here the first letter of these parameters is uppercase because I'm expecting these to be constructor functions. So now let's put these two lines inside this function and change circle to child and shape to parent. Now we have encapsulated this logic somewhere that we can reuse. So let's put this further up. I'm going to put it before the circle constructor. So we define a constructor and then we can call extend pass circle and shape. We extend the circle with the shape. And then we can add other stuff in the prototype for circle. Now let's make the same change for our squares. So instead of these two lines here, right after we define the constructor function, we call extend square with shape. Save the changes. Let's make sure everything works. So let's define a square, new square, and then call duplicate. Beautiful. So this extend function is what we call intermediate function inheritance.